Is it ever possible to get a continuous perception from a discrete phenomenon? So what I mean is, let's say we're just bits, zeros and ones, and it's binary discrete. Yet we perceive continuity, smoothness. Okay, how can smoothness come about from discreteness? The trick that our brain is using, because our neurons don't act continuously, right? The neurons involved tend to fire at rates of like 20 hertz. How is it possible that we see a continuous movement? And uh, the trick that our brain seems to be using is, is that it uses keyframes and uh, vectors that tell it how to compute the next keyframe. And uh, you can see some evidence for that in two ways. One is um, there are optical illusions where you have a static image that is, seems to move on the page. And if, if you have such an optical illusion, it shows that there is a difference between the appearance of movement and the change of location. Right? If something was moving continuously, you would expect it to change location. But if something can move without changing location, it means that your brain is representing the movement separate from the change in location. The change in location is the difference in the keyframe. There is only one frame, right? You don't look at different keyframes when you look at a static printout of an optical illusion that moves. If you see it moving, it's because uh, they, you only perceive the vector of movement. This means it's a static representation that applies to the single frame and tells you where you would expect the thing to be if it was uh, changing location. And the second evidence is that there are people which have brain lesions uh, that uh, lead uh, to a stroboscopic representation of reality, which means they only perceive the keyframes, but not the movement between the keyframes. Okay, so let's forget about external sensory experience. And what if you close your eyes and you visualize in your mind's eye a circle? So you see that as smooth. Now, are we just wrong in our perception? The circle is actually not smooth. We tricked ourselves somehow. It's actually jagged like pixels. If we were to zoom in, how is it that we can get smoothness even internally? So I would have to look at the real circle because I have an aphantasia. So I have a circular light up here and I can see it as a smooth in the sense, but the smoothness is mostly the absence of a detectable uh, non-smoothness, right? So basically I can use a, a function that describes uh, the progression of the line using this uh, smooth circle. And I don't notice features that uh, go away from that simple function. And I would to have a more complicated function to describe an object that has jaggies, right? So in some sense, the smoothness is a decision surface between features. It tells me wh where to expect more sensory data. It tells me where to expect uh, certain blips on the retina or on my mental retina, so to speak, on my mental stage when I imagine that object. So it's basically some kind of generator function that tells me uh, uh, in which way I expect the features to fall. But uh, it's not something where I uh, I can only see the jaggies if I expect to see jaggies and this can get confirmed in some way, right? And the jaggy function, the one where I see the aliasing or corners and so on, needs to have an explicit representation in a certain way. If this representation is absent, then I will only see the smooth surface.